Yeah, the uh, yeah. Okay, we solved this problem already. Okay. Any questions so far? Beside the B Y, I don't think I answer him properly. Okay, he's just smiling at me. I can understand that. Right. Let's look at another problem. Okay, and this is the problem that I like to do. And you all will be relieved that this problem is in Newton's. Okay. So the lift truck has a mass of 70 kilogram and the mass center is at point G. Determine the largest upward acceleration of the 120 kilogram spool so that no reaction on the wheels. I think I, I, I copied the wrong question. Let, let me, yeah, this is not the question I want to do, okay? Let me, let me write down, let me get the right question first. Being too excited in class again. Okay, so it's this question. Uh, I beg your pardon, okay? I should have checked. So we're still under linear motion. This is the one. Okay. I do apologize. I posted the wrong question. Okay, this is the right question now. The lift truck has a mass of 70 kilogram. Okay, so we know that this is known as the lift truck. And please don't ask me, how do I know there's a lift truck? Okay. And then you have a mass center. Okay, and this lift truck is 70 kilogram. Okay. And this is known as a spool. And this spool is at 120 kilograms. Okay. And then it's going to leave. Okay. Means this thing is going up at an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. Determine the reaction of each of the four wheels. Okay. And we are going to assume that the loading is symmetrical. Now, symmetrical means the front wheel and the rear wheels take the same load, not necessarily the left and the right wheel take the same load. Neglect the mass of the movable arm CD. Okay, so we so again, we're going to start with our free body diagram. So on our free body diagram, oh, sorry, we are trying to find direction on each of the four wheels. Yeah, I do apologize to you. Okay. So we're going to find direction on each of the four wheels. So we know, I'm going to call this point, I'm going to draw our transformation first. 
So this is our X. This is our Y. Rotation about Z. At point A, exactly at this point down here, and I'm going to call it exactly at this point down there. Is it is it the point that you have issue? Where are you? Is it the point where I call it A Y you have issue? We did consider the total weight. Front wheel is free to spin, so friction doesn't act on A1. I think that's the answer. No, 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 no. I need to talk to him later on. That's the answer. The front wheel and the back wheel take the weight also. So over here, this is my AY. And over here, this is my BY. Does that make sense with to you? This is okay? Okay. Now, at point C is where the center of the spool is. This is where we have the 120 kilogram times by 9.81. Why we have to times by 9.1? Because it's the force due to gravity. And the G over here, we have to have the 70 times 9.81 also. Okay. Is there any other weight acting on the system? The answer is no. We have the reaction. So then this will be equal. So next, we construct our kinetic diagram. And our kinetic diagram states that the spool will be lifted. And so we know that there's a going up. So this is our kinetic. And this will be 120. No, is it 120? Yep, 120 multiplied by 3. Right? So this will be our 360. Newton. That's our kinetic F equal to MA. So this is our kinetic diagram. Okay. So from here, again, really straightforward. Sorry, I should stop mentioning really straightforward because I cannot answer some of your questions. Some mention of forces in the Y is equal to M A Y. Right? So what we have now is A Y plus by B Y minus by 120 times by 9.81 minus by 70 times by 9.81. And then this thing will be equal to uh, 120 times 3, right? Because this is the formula that we are formulating the equation. So from here, you will have AY plus by BY will be equal to uh, 120 plus by 70 plus by 2223.9. So this is now our equation number one. Then after that, I decide to take some mention about moment in the z direction and the moment I'm going to take from point A. Okay. So this will be equal to some mention about moment z at point A kinetic. So now I'm going to take moment about point A. So this is exactly where I'm going to take our moment. You can see the dot being made bigger. So we will have 120 
So it's going to be uh, and, uh, clockwise minus 120 times by 9.81. The distance is 0 0.75 plus by 0 0.5 minus by 0 0.7. Then the next is the one for the center of gravity. It's also going anti-clockwise, so minus by 70 times by 9.81. Perpendicular distance is 0 0.75. By is positive because By will generate an anti-clockwise mo uh, moment about point A. So BY is equal to one zero uh, one point two five BY. Then this will be equal to so now we have we have what we have the accelerate now. The acceleration is only due to the spool. Right, it's only due to the spool. So this is 120 multiplied by three. You have to do 0 0.75 plus by 0 0.5 minus by 0 0.7. Okay. Now, why we only take the spool? Because it's only the spool that is moving what up. The truck is not moving at all. The truck is completely what stationary okay so you have 0 0.75 plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.7 that's 120 that's 9.81 so minus 647.46 then minus by 17 515.025 okay Plus by zero uh, one point two five by two point five and the whole thing will be equal to point seven five plus point five minus point seven times one twenty times three one nine eight. So from here, by will be equal to 198 plus by 647.46 plus by 515.025 divided by 1.25, 1088.4. And per wheel will be equal to 1088.4 divided by 2, which is equal to 544.2 Newton. And then we can find what's A Y. We know that A Y will be two 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 three point nine minus one zero eight eight point four. Two 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 three point nine minus one zero eight eight point four. So it's equal to one one three five point five Newton. And then per wheel, you just need to what divide by two because it's loaded in a symmetrical way. So it's 567.75 Newton. I'll see you guys on Thursday.